Oh, we got dab. dab. You're not even on camera. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not on camera. Wait, how do I dab with nukes in this game? Um, you have to make like a pattern of fighters look like a dab. A dab. I'm gonna. Uh, can I draw? Can I draw in this game? I know I've drawn before. Can I draw? Whiteboard. Yes, I can. Okay. Here's me. Yeah, that's how you set up your plans. Remember, remember the football plans. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. He doing it. <laughs> He's literally doing This is supposed to be purple. And I like how in the background it just says 1.1 mil dead. He's dabbing on Russia right now. I'm literally dabbing on Russia, boys. We dabbing. We hawk dabbing. We're dabbing on the Russoids right now. You're dabbing, and in the background it says Leningrad nuked 3 million dead. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm I'm speechless, man. Yeah, let's get dabs. Let's get dabs in chat. That that was so worth everybody doing let's uh get into the scenario here so we're doing um nato versus russia we've got this on big world mode uh we've got ourselves playing as the united states we've also got a uh, cpu representing european nato and then we got a cpu representing russia so uh, this one's probably going to be a long one i haven't actually played defcon at least on twitch in a while uh I've done a couple solo games. Those will be up on the gaming channel, uh, Superpower Gaming on YouTube, in short order. We've got about 40 DEF CON games over there. Some of them from Twitch, some of them just solo, some of them multiplayer, but weren't streamed live. Uh, let's get into this. So this one's kind of a, a big uh, map, right? Because we're talking about Big World. So you said to 200%, which means everything has roughly half the range. The world's twice as big. So, uh, let's get into it, and um, let's see. So, I've t uh, put out that we're going live on a few different uh, platforms, and so, uh, let's get started. So, oh, and I also want to know, we set the victory uh, timer threshold to 35%, and we set the victory timer length to 65 minutes, because uh, 45 is a bit short when we're on Big World. I've also run into errors in the past where when we set it to a uh, 20% threshold uh, or 25% threshold, the CPU never actually expends enough nukes to uh, trigger the victory timer. And so that got to be very problematic when we did the Kremlin Kyle's World simulation, for example. And that was very annoying because it meant that the game went on and on and on and on and on and I, I believe we actually had to force quit, basically. Um, I played around on a solo game the other day uh, without streaming to try to test around, and the CPU hit a bunch of its subs off of Africa and never actually came up, and I was playing as Europe uh, versus Russia, and they never actually used it. And uh, we had to send our fleets all the way down into the South Atlantic to bait it out to trigger the victory timer. So I decided, you know, we'll look at the options here. As you can see, we've got um, uh, cities I set to 50. I like having a lot of cities. 
we've increased the population to um, 200 instead of 100 million each. It's at the slowest speed to pause so we can actually talk while we're streaming. As you can see there, the victory trigger is set to 35% of the total nuclear weapons, and then uh, the victory timer length is set to 65 minutes duration. Uh, world scales 200. Max spectators irrelevant. Um, hardly anybody actually plays this game. Uh, we'll have more viewers on Twitch almost certainly than you ever have in the game. As I was setting up the server tonight, somebody actually joined in, and I'm like, normally I'd welcome Arando because uh, it's kind of fun to do this in multiplayer. But I'm like, I'm trying to set up a scenario tonight, so I had to kick them. So that was kind of unfortunate. But yeah, you know, if you ever see this or whatever, I'm still down to play in the future. I just wanted to have this one be, uh, you know, um, basically this sort of scenario. So, um. Let me just uh, share the link around a little bit more, and then uh, we'll go live, basically. I mean, we are live, but we'll start the actual game. So, um, let's see. Okay, let's get started. So as I said, this one's a big one. We haven't actually done DEF CON in quite a while. So let's get that speed way down. Takes time to set all this up. We're going to pause it right now. Let's just take a look at our population distribution. So that's pretty typical. Now when we're doing uh, normal 25 cities, you expect it to basically be two blobs, two-thirds on the east, one-third on the west, roughly, right? Uh, now, you'll notice here, because we got it set to 50 cities, that, well, we have some cities in Canada now. We also have Anchorage represented. Anchorage in this has 1.2 million people. Uh, so you can see the population distribution. It's now two blobs that are like 95 to 96 percent of the population. Then we have this uh, little bridge between the two over there, uh, representing uh, southern Canada essentially. And if we look at Russia now, uh, sometimes Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky is never represented in this. It is, and so that's the easternmost city that we have from them. Now, we usually expect them to have uh, an airbase and even perhaps a radar up around the Chichki Sea up there, right? So, uh, now you can see actually a few different uh, cities represented around uh, the eastern uh, seaboard here, and so... Um, Oh, yeah, Spooky Nukies is right in the chat. He says, don't mention bridges in conjunction with Russia. Putin's still mad, uh, sad. Yeah, he didn't actually like his birthday gift. That was his birthday gift, and he wasn't um, wasn't happy about it. So I am just going to uh, try adjusting the chat for a second. So this is actually going to spin around uh, as I move it over because uh, I've been noticing this probably. It only really seems to happen on the gaming streams, but... Yeah, no, there's definitely something going on with stream elements because it's slightly cut off on the left-hand side of the text, so whatever. It's not that big of a problem. We can still read what's going on. Uh, so as I was just pointing out, we're doing a uh, different uh, mode, right? We're doing Big World, so uh, with 50 cities, and so that's why it looks quite a bit different than a typical game at DEF CON because we actually have cities showing up in Canada and Alaska. And uh, Kamchatsky Peninsula. Uh, let's continue on. So we have Cheetah represented. We have La Nude here. Uh, normally we get Irkutsk. Normally Irkutsk and uh, Averovsk are like the most uh, easternmost cities that we get. But we actually have Yakutsk represented now. We have Kreslyarsk as usual. And then once we get into the western portion, it becomes just a blob of density. But as you can see, normally about 95% of the population is in this blob now it's like 90 percent so there's a little bit more on the east now our allies in europe it's a typical blob so our um nato allies have actually already put down some radars 
Uh, so now, as far as defense goes, well, we have double the silos this time. So we're going to spread out our silos a little bit more than we would normally do. Normally, the best strategy is to have all six centered around the eastern seaboard. Um, we can remove the population there. So what I normally like to do if I'm on big world is to you know, spread it out a little bit more, not even because I, I necessarily want to dilute the range of, uh, you know, and uh, intensity that we're operating with for defenses. It's that you always want to have them positioned away from cities enough that the cities don't take splash damage if the CPU decides to uh, target your silo. And we have a very dense cluster of cities in this area, which makes uh, silo placement... Uh, not intelligent so we want to put the silos in the gaps between these cities which means um we'll have some spread over into the midwest that we normally wouldn't because we got 12 this time as far as uh air base placement i want to keep a couple on the west coast here to act as uh, an interceptor defense as well as being a staging point to send out bombers against their pacific fleet i also want to have a couple up in alaska so that we can quickly take out their air bases in the Chitsky area. I'm also going to put a couple up around Quebec and Labrador so that they can get on a mission to fly over uh, Svalbard and come in on the Russians from the north. I also want to have a couple on the eastern seaboard down here as interceptor defense and a staging ground that we could send out our bombers down over Africa and they can attack Russia from the south. And so... Uh, because we're on Big World, it'll show them having a standard range, but in reality, they have double the range. It's just this game doesn't represent that very well. Um, let's... Uh, oh, and then our fleet strategy. Because we are with an ally in this, uh, we're going to have the Atlantic less guarded than we normally would. We'll have a fleet of aircraft carriers go down off the coast of Mauritania be a staging point to attack the Russians from the south and we're going to have most of our naval assets uh, around the Pacific and normally the Russians have a big Pacific presence in this game so I'm expecting a big naval battle uh, around Hawaii basically in the northern uh, central Pacific area so uh, with that, let's get the game running and start positioning our radars uh, first and foremost. Well, actually, that's not true. Our radars will position once we got our silos down so we can use them as uh, uh, basically uh, redundant uh, backups. So let's get our silos down first. And we got to move pretty quickly here. And of course, these have unlimited range. But for nukes, but for defense, they don't. Uh, we want to stagger them between cities in these gaps, essentially. So if they get hit, they don't necessarily result in much slash damage. And that's what we got here. And as I said, we'll actually spread them out a little bit more into the Midwest area than we normally would. Um... We've got that one, of course, in the Dakota area. And we'll have one up here in uh, New Brunswick, basically. Okay. So those are down. Now we can actually start positioning our radars. So the point of these radars is to provide visibility to the silos. Because we don't want the silos to not be able to see incoming nukes. Now, these are not to help us find the enemy, per se. These are just to give the silos as much range as possible. Because they have a, a pretty wide um, circle. And we want to have these, uh, these areas here uh, filled in, basically. We also, of course, want to have redundancy. So we'll put in ones even where... They don't really add any visibility because we want to have backups. There we are. 
And then, of course, we want to have one up in Alaska for information. And it's good to have one out here, too. Now for bases, air bases. Do that. Yeah, we'll actually put them on uh, Baffin Island instead. Now we set up the fleets. So I haven't actually played DEF CON in a long time on Twitch, so uh, I know if some people were requesting to see more DEF CON, so it's a, it's a pretty good game, I wish more people played it, so. So we can see uh, our allies up here, what they've got. They've got pretty good fleet coverage, so we don't really need much in the Atlantic, but we can support them. Now for the subs. The subs are going to make their way up to the north. We're at DEFCON 4 now. Once we hit DEFCON 3, we can get the bombers airborne. The whole goal is to try to find their silos before they launch. Our strategy in this is going to be to launch immediately at DEFCON 1. So that we can move them over to air defense before their uh, missiles arrive. Oh, 
There they are. Everything's been deployed. Now he can move forward with time. I suspect they've got a lot of ships out here. Oh, Spooky's calling me a ghoul. Oh no, Ray, we're on the verge of nuclear war. As we are every week. Oh no. Oh no, how how inappropriate. Oh no, P Putin's super serious this time, folks. Uh, Putin's not bluffing. He said he's not bluffing for the 30th time. He's not bluffing this time, folks. He's super duper serial. He's uber serial. He means business. He, he's just getting started. But what, what was that meme? I'm actually, I'm going to bring up that meme. Pretty good. Um, found this meme the other day. I think it was Saint Javelin. Um, at least I saw it on Saint Javelin. Um, the nuclear threatener threatens to nuke you in the morning, then threatens to nuke you in the evening, and a few times in between. His nukes will sink Britain, he said, holding back tears. The referendums mean this is sovereign Russian territories. Now we can nuke them and you can't do anything about it. Goes into berserk every time his military gets embarrassed. Threatens to nuke you. Quote, we haven't really started yet, unquote. His carrier is on fire, again. Threatens to nuke it, again. Threatens to nuke his generals for their failures. So that's the nuclear threatener, Putin. Ah, okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's get these bombers airborne. Alright, I can't do anything if it's paused. Can't do anything if it's paused. Okay. Let's get fighters inbound. Welcome to the motherland. First order of business, radiation sickness. And no socks. And no medical gear, at least not before anything that's expired um, before 1963. Get these bombers going. I will say, Spooky, you're, uh, even though this is a single-player game mode, uh, you are welcome to join Discord, and we can chat if you want. I just realized we could do that. Okay, let's get these guys ready. The genocide of socks is evident, so Spooky. It already happened. There's none left. They're gone. Give him a minute. Okay, he's down.
get these guys out of those fields before they get nuked. Okay, we've lost some ships, they've lost some ships. We took out two of their aircraft carriers, that's pretty good. We call spooky. Okay, they took out one of our battleships, but they can't hit our bombers, and our bombers have them in range. What's up, kid? Yo, what's up, kid? What's up, son? Kid! Older than you! <laughs> okay, how's it going? Not too shabby. So, uh, I haven't played DEF CON in a long time. Playing DEF CON, well, not on Twitch at least. I'm playing DEF CON. So, you get some spooky nukies. You're a single player gamer. I guess that's what I am now. A single player gamer. The absolute state of um, superpower gaming. So. <laughs> You're a PC elitist. I, that is what I am, yeah. That's what I am. Uh, oh, man. that Those Twitch con memes were pretty funny. <laughs> we, can't, we can't watch the clips, but a couple of uh, folks who got, who got banned from Twitch, and obviously banned from Twitch con, they weren't happy about it, so they crashed it. And yeah, if by crashed it you mean they showed up and people laughed at them. Yes. And that was about it. That's literally what I mean, yeah. Uh it's a shame we it's a shame we can't watch them, but they're on Twitter. So they're on Twitter, yeah. And I, if you're in these circles, you've already seen them. Yeah. Really. Everybody knows what they're talking about. <laughs> they know, they already know. They know. They are a horde. It's just it's just like Gonzalo Lira. They knew. They knew. Oh man, the Russians are not having a good time in the Pacific right now. A few of their battleships just got promoted to submarines. So, wow. Not I mean, out. how many how many promotions can even go around? You know, it's like that meme of the North Korean soldiers with the stupid medals. It's like a magnet attractor or whatever. You know? <laughs> oh man. Well, that way you can put it on the fridge and show your mama. Yeah. We got another Slava class here that's taken about 12 missiles from different directions. And looks like it's uh, about to get a good promotion to a submarine. So. Oh, man. That's very generous of you. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It got the promotion. It got the promotion. So, here we go. I'm the... Uh, the the ghoulish promoter <laughs> promotes ships with missiles promotes bridges with missiles promotes promotes aircraft with missiles 
can turn a 20,000 ton ship into a submarine in two seconds. It's a talent, truly. Yeah. But they're led by the nuclear threatener. <laughs> He's going to do it. Threatens to nuke you in the morning. Then threatens to nuke you in the evening. A few times in between. You know, you know what a meme... Here's a meme someone needs to make. It's It will be a meme of Putin threatening to nuke. And then there's that group of people talking. And they give the thumbs up. And then they yes. go back to talking. I was going to make that the other, I was thinking about that. I'm like, I'm going to do it this time. I've got them. I've got a bunch of nukes. And then there's the thumbs up. And, and he's just like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Like, like, you were yeah, like yeah, this game, yeah. it's totally inappropriate because um, we're on the verge of nuclear war. Putin said he wasn't bluffing this time. Yeah. This so. game's, this game's been inappropriate for like 15 years. Honestly, <laughs> you couldn't play it at any point. Cause there was always threats. Always threats. But it's especially inappropriate right now because on Twitter, people are, they're really spooked. Oh yeah, Caitlin Johnstone's going to see that I'm playing this and she's going to tweet like, these neocons think nuclear war is a game. We didn't get to it yesterday, no. but hopefully we will next week. We do have a video in the playlist that's related to Elon Musk. Huh? Yeah, that will be fun. That will be a fun one. So are you watching on Twitch right now? Because uh, there's a big battle going on in Europe right now. In I am. Pacific. Yeah. I see. I see Moscow. I see Leningrad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Leningrad. Leningrad. Yeah, the Leningrad leprechaun. He crashed TwitchCon. What about Putin dread? Putin Greg. Um, doesn't it doesn't roll off the tongue quite no, the it same. Doesn't. It, do, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. Oh, so. and look, there's Kiev and Kharkov. Oh, yeah, I guess. Uh, well, they don't have Kharkov modeled in this, so they have it as Kiev. So, yeah, a lot of these city names are like it's all Russian. Basically. Oh, yeah, because it's. it's it's still supposed to be the Soviet Union, it's right? It's the Soviet Union, basically, except Ukraine and Belarus are modeled as part of Europe. So, oh, but I it's see. it's it's basically you can think of this as being set in like 1990 or 1991. So, like August of 1991, I think. So, but yeah, so but it's like an alt universe where the, the states broke away a few years earlier so the soviet union still exists but uh minsk is a part of nato so nato has expanded big so, so a better universe is basically what you're a better universe because look at this like we're nato uh we have serbia serbia is <laughs> in nato in this look at that that's that's uh belgrade right there Belgrade as they're calling it. Uh, we have Finland. Helsinki's NATO. NATO city. We have Sweden already. We have Belarus. And, okay, they really messed up with this. Kaliningrad should be Russia. You, like, they should be able to put stuff there. But it's not really modeled in this game. It's just kind of like a thing that you can't do anything with. You're oh, telling me there's no historical accuracy. No, none. None whatsoever. It's almost yeah, as that's, bad as Putin's history. That's usually what happens in, in games, quite frankly. Yeah. probably It's probably them trying to balance it uh, based on the territory that's allocated for each side. The nuclear balancer... Yeah, it's, you know, realism in a game. Messes up geography. Tries to be balanced. <laughs> Models Kaliningrad is a void of nothingness. Ooh, some tactical nukes just went off over there. See, he wasn't bluffing. He wasn't bluffing. He nuked his own territory, man. Well, that well, also I sounds accurate. I love this uh, one from the meme. 
Uh, what is it? The referendum means this is sovereign Russian territory. Now we can nuke them and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> can't do anything about it. It's sovereignty, man. It is to nuke. It's territory. Oh, you man, should, they're you, really not doing well with... right now. What if he threatened to nu nuke Moscow? Oh, he'll he'll do it. He'll totally do it. It's like it's like a it's like a hostage situation, but like y you're the you're the one. Like the hostage taker is the hostage. It's like I'll do it. I'll do it. And everybody's like, okay, like <laughs> like do it or uh, or it'll be the end of me. And it's like okay, we're all just okay. watching. Oh, they're trying to scout out Europe right now, but NATO's not having any of that. We got a NATO air defense system, so... Um, what air defense doing? Shooting down his aircraft. That's what air defense do. The, the, bridge is, the bridges in NATO territory are safe. That's the important part. Yeah. So we've basically got all of our bombers off the ground now. So we are three minutes out from DEFCON 1. And I was saying earlier, as soon as we hit DEFCON 1, I'm I'm, I'm going to nuke. So I want that. <laughs> I'm going to nuke. I'm going to nuke. <laughs> yeah. The nuclear kaboomer. Uh, wait, you said boomer. Boomer. Well, I got boomers. boomers. And boomer. My boomers, I put all my boomers in the Atlantic. They're making their way up towards this coast right now. Look at these guys. Look at all these boomers yeah. right here. What is that? Boomer energy. That's like 80 megatons of boomer energy. Listen, millennial. I'll slap the emojis right out of you. They'll nuke the emojis out of you. I'll nuke the emojis out of you. <laughs> oh, they're scouting oh. down in Africa right now? Wow. Imperialism. Colonialism. Imperialism. Oh. I think is what it is. So yeah, so in case anybody's wondering if this game is fair or not because it's a 2v1, uh, no, it's not fair because we have friends and they don't. Well, life's not fair. Yeah. They could have had friends. They could have joined NATO. <laughs> well, I thought, I thought that they wanted to. Remember Marjorie Taylor Greene? She wanted us to ally ourselves with Russia. With Russia. So, oh, they, so they does John Mearsheimer. They might not want to be friends anymore after we stop them from destroying our allies that we already had. I'm just imagining, like, somewhere in a village in northern Mauritania, there's, like, some Vatnik tanky dude who, like, he's a wannabe Putin... Um, chill in Russia, but he doesn't have the money to move to Russia, and so he just lives in a village in northern Mauritania, and then he looks up and sees this massive armada of NATO bombers making their way, and he's just like, <laughs> and he tweets about it on Twitter, but nobody believes him. Like, he tweets at Putin, like, there's a bunch of NATO bombers coming for you, do something, and it gets no likes. Has eight followers. <laughs> no likes? No likes. Oh, they found them. They found us two radars. Uh oh. Uh oh. It looks like it looks like northeastern Siberia is about to get really hot. So we were fifty well, seconds away from being able to arm these guys. So the good news is that if their radar is turned on, that means that their sonar is turned off. <laughs> That's take right. advantage. No sonar. You can see our subs. No sonar. No sonars. And even with all their new subs, I doubt that that's going to help much. But the thing is, Russia does have new submarines with the new Balava missiles. It's just, and they do test them and they work in tests. It's just, I, in the last couple of weeks, I've gotten sus about whether or not their stuff actually works. You know? <laughs> like, because none of their conventional stuff works. But what if the, none of the nuclear stuff works either? I mean, that would be the ultimate prank, wouldn't it? What if the reason why Putin hasn't 
actually use the nukes yet is because he knows they don't work. What if it's not even like a deterrence thing and he's worried about America retaliating? What if he's like worried that everybody will find out that they don't actually detonate? <laughs> I mean, it would be an interesting story. It says a lot about, you know, the psychology of people that it's just, just the threat of it is all it takes to control the world. Like, imagine if Pest got defected and leaked a book, like, uh, the room where it got triggered or something. And it was like, <laughs> and it was saying how, like, how Putin was always upset because he knew that his, none of his nuclear weapons were actually functional and that he was totally not bluffing. But the reason why he couldn't do it was because he knew that they wouldn't actually work. That would be amazing. And, like, he wanted to do it. And then Shoigu had to sit him down one evening and explain to him how Vlad, remember that time when we told you how none of the nukes actually work? And now it's just for show? And then he and then he got mad and then had to stamp her off to his room. And when he woke oh. up the next day, he started making nuke threats again. And that was awkward. Like imagine if Pest got defected. Imagine what we would find out. Like, imagine being Putin's secretary. Imagine the complaints you have to deal with. <laughs> imagine the weird ramblings. Imagine, imagine, just imagine like one morning, like you bring him his coffee, right? And it's like kind of cold. It's, it's not properly hot. And you have to explain how the chip in the coffee machine, they can't get a replacement for it because of the sanctions. And then Putin threatens to nuke uh, London. Oh, they launched. They launched. They're launching at NATO. Uh-oh. Oh, I see one. I see one up there. We're kind of far away, though. We do have some aircraft. We're going to go in on these guys. We got all these guys armed out here. You know, that all said, they, they don't bluff about everything because they, they did just have uh, some recent missile strikes on Kiev. Tonight, yeah. Not nukes, but, you know, you know, typical targeting of, of a civilian population. Yeah, that's what they always do. Oh, actually, I'm not necessarily doing too well here right now. I've kind of overextended. Uh -oh. Normal. Normal. You overplayed your hand. That's what I did. I did do that. That's what I did. I spread out a little bit too far. And now we're going to have to retreat. We're going to have to cluster back. I forgot how many ships they put in the Pacific. There's a lot there. Okay, well, we found the third radar with those jets. The thing with those jets is they ran on the fuel, so the pilots had to eject over enemy territory. So. Okay, so there are a couple Russian nukes coming in on NATO right now. Normal. Very normal. These ones, these ones will detonate, though, because uh, this is a game... And Russian nukes actually work in this game. <laughs> Imagine if they, they programmed it so they didn't work. 80% every, don't work. Every game is rigged. It's rigged. That would be hilarious. There was, uh, I think, War Thunder or something. I think the programmers of it are actually based in Russia or something. There's been a big scandal that they purposefully buffed Russian units. Did you hear about that? I did not. I guess it's like information warfare, you know? <laughs> Russia's strong. Okay, these guys are in for a world of hurt right now. And the subs aren't even, like, we're just getting started. Russia's very lucky that socks are not a resource in this game. That would be unfortunate. 
I mean, I guess it's true. Russia really doesn't like socks. Thinks they're a bunch of lib degenerates. So. Not a fan of sock Twitter over there. A, a true man does not cover his feet. No. That cuts you off from Mother Nature. <laughs> okay, are these guys armed yet? They are armed. So now it's just a matter of range. And sometimes they put an airfield down near Petropavlovsk Chatsky. By the way, that's a really long name for a city. Imagine living there. Try to say it again. Petropavlovsk Chatsky. <laughs> no, that's the name of the city, dude. That's the city they were gonna nuke in by dawn's early light, if you've ever seen that movie. That's the that's the target they got. Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky. <laughs> Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky. It's a long name. That's pretty funny. That's kind I of mean, a long name too. Komsomolsk Namur. Kind of a long name. Actually, Russia has a lot of long names, like Krasnoyarsk, Severlovsk. Ooh, they did get detonation. What did they hit? Are they maybe they took out a radar? Damn. I Gork. That's a funny name. First detonation. Yeah, the Gorky Goober. He was at TwitchCon. Um, <laughs> so the first detonation of the game, they got against us. So they took out one of our radars. Ouch. Ouch. But it's okay because we found three of theirs. And it's not going to work out very well for them right now. Rude. Rude. He didn't even it's, give us a heads up. He just nuked not, it. It's not fair. It's not proportionate. They just expected us to find it on the radars, but they nuked the radars. Where's the UN? Where's the peacekeepers? No radars? No, I can't see. I only have sonar. The UN right now is like right here along the border, like putting their hands up and saying, no. It's not good. <laughs> We're bad. Thing is, there are splash effects in this game. So, like, if you if you get shot down over an airbase, it does some damage to the airbase because all the weapons in this are small yield nukes. Like, like there's big nukes that you can do at DEFCON 1, and then there's all these smaller ones, which are, like, low yield nukes, basically. By the way, I did say we were going to nuke at DEFCON 1, so we're going to get these guys armed. We got 12 of these. Nuke time. It's nukey time. Yeah, we nuke him. Oh, yeah. That is what we do. That's what we do. We do nuke. Okay, now let's just get these targets going. What are you gonna do? Nuke a roos? Nuke a roos. Nuke a roos! Wait, that's potent. That's actually potent. Did you come literally. up with that? That's yes. Po that's potent. It is literally potent. It's boats. It's boats. <laughs> no, it's boats, bro. Poats, my goats. The poats meme right there. We're we're stuck in a land of memes and references. You know, that's poats. That's absolutely poats. That's one of the most poats memes I've heard in a while. Nuka Roos? Because the original meme was Nuka Moose. Nuka Roos. That's like Yeah. <laughs> that is what we do. We are a whore. That's some old timey speak for you. Yeah, kid. We have not been called Rus in a very long time. Rus, yeah. Since days of Mongol Empire. <laughs> they are a horde. It is Literally. what they do. We got four viewers now. Let's go. That is what we have. We have We're the, blowing up. This, this is Twitch's, you know, like, forget about TwitchCon. This is the real, real business going on over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a few people broke their backs at TwitchCon. 
Well, uh, oh, that was brutal. That, yeah, that was pretty cringe. Like, you know what? The thing is, like, I don't think that's happened before, but it seems like every TwitchCon, there's, like, something that they set up that they get sued for. Like, it seems like it always happened. <laughs> like, you know, a lot of people are talking about that. I don't know if Adriana Chechik signed, like, some kind of waiver. It doesn't you know, matter. That it would... Okay, you don't it think it matter. matters. No, I looked I was... it up. It doesn't matter. I it, if you sign a waiver, th those waivers generally are not held up because it doesn't protect you from extreme negligence by the business. Like, if you're the business and you do extreme negligence, it doesn't matter if a waiver was signed, you're still liable, at least in California. And what that means is... The juries, at least in California, and keep in mind, I'm not a lawyer, so yeah, 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 I'm not a lawyer. Talk to Best, yeah, he's a lawyer, but um, <laughs> talk, it, you know. talk to the talk to the Gorky Goober about talk, lawyers. Yeah, no, he well, he doesn't like them. He's in law school, but he hates lawyers and lawyer-like people. So, um, but he's gonna be one. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but will people even be able to see him over the stand is the question. Oh, oh, okay, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. I rebuke, I rebuke, I, I rebuke that. I, I, that's not right, man. That's not right. Uh, how would you feel look, if you were four foot seven? Look, I'm just being practical here. Just being how would pragmatic, I, how man. How would I? How would I feel? I, I I would. I would be a king, man. I'd be a short king. I'd feel great. Yeah, you dropped this crown, king, but it's okay because it's not that far to pick it up. <laughs> no, no, no. We're bad. We're bad. We're bad. We're we're nuking a roost and we're bad. We're bad. We're the bad. Uh, yeah, you know, Caitlin Johnson was right. We're the real bad guys. Yeah, we got their radar. We got your radar. Got your nose. No radar. No short radar. jokes are short jokes are too easy. They're too easy. But I mean, like how how can anyone resist? Come on now, the jokes write themselves. Oh no, we we did actually manage to find one of his subs. We're depth charging their sub right now. Oh, they're actually they're not happy campers right now. They're like stop stop trying to kaboom us. You kaboom and a boomer. They got nuclear depth charges. Nuclear depth charge. Okay, I prefer so nu nu nuclear. 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 We, we, got all these, we got all these guys. And all these guys out here. In Africa, we have the last Jedi bombers. They're over. They're coming up over Libya now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, that's pretty spooky. You got them over Libya. They oh. might. They might disrupt the slave plantation. That's not good. Like that would. That would really anger a lot of people. Well, Hillary Clinton already did that, but the slave markets, maybe. So. Oh man. So now markets. there's like some Vatnik dude in Tripoli. He just like looks up and sees this big armada and tweets out at Putin. They're coming, but Putin ignores it. Because zero followers. <laughs> no followers. It is a ruse. Yeah, they're not going to be doing too well. Oh, there was a spectator here earlier. Somebody wanted to watch. Okay, we are actually getting these guys out the silos, so that's good. Because they they could get, they could go nuclear from their silos at any point. I want to have these bombers in their airspace when that happens, though, so we can quickly go after them. Problem is, they're sinking a lot of our stuff. We actually lost like two thirds of our fleet, but they lost a lot of theirs, though. So. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. 
Oh. Ouch. They got our silo. We got Ooh. Hawk here. We got Hawk. We got Hawked. Got Hawked. Yeah, he's hawking and stalking. That is what he does. Hawking and stalking. He's watching the skies. I think most people are probably like, where's Fortnite? <laughs> yeah, where's Fortnite? It's like no DEF CON, and then it's Fortnite, or then it's DEF CON, no Fortnite. Where, where Fortnite when? Exactly. Um, I guess maybe I should arm some of these guys with nukes to take out their fleets better, but I've been too busy with other stuff. It takes so long to arm. Four minutes? It's for one nuke -y. It takes longer in reality, sir. Depends on the nuke, but yeah, I can. Okay, so our Nukies are over Greenland now. Got some over Victoria Island. They're nuking us from their subs, though, and our subs are totally out of range. All we can hit right now is NATO. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it. Don't provoke us, man. We'll do it. Sabotage. Well... Well, I have the platform, and we have some viewers. We have five. I'll, I'll say this. We are coming up very soon on episode 100 of Ghoul Gang Rising. I know. Can you believe we survived this long? I can't. So now's your, now's your chance if you want to get anything in in the coming weeks. I think that that episode is actually going to be in December. So just yeah. keep that keep that in mind if you want to get in your memes if you want to get in anything any kind of suggestions for se segments you'd like to see especially like interactive segments we obviously will have the bracket but i'm open to other things as well maybe like a poll of some kind i don't know but yeah it's it's gonna be a spooktacular time for sure uh, it's about to get very warm in siberia that would be a change. I uh, like Joji Extend says, can't believe Russian nukes are modeled as uh, functional in this game. Yeah, we were just talking about that. <laughs> 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 well, look, look, they had to make the game fair if you play from the Russian side, you know? Yeah, the nuclear balancer. Yeah, we balance them. That is what we do. That is what we do. We are a horde. Oh, man. Yeah, no, that's not going to be a good day for them. Look at all these warheads. Getting the nukes out the tubes. Let's go. Warheads? That sounds like someone who enjoys war. Sounds like a warmonger. Yeah, it's the Department of War. Department of Warhead. It's like, you know, there's, there's people who are like music heads or, you know, whatever. Metal heads. Yeah, warheads. They enjoy war. It is what they do. They do that. <laughs> oh my god. That emoji? <laughs> Who made that emoji? The Pepe... <laughs> the Pepe... The Pepe Umer? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who made that? <laughs> Whose channel is that from? Oh my god, who made that? Whose channel is that? That's like worth subbing to their channel just for that alone. Who made that? <laughs> That's pretty potes. Oh, Look. Gappy. Wait, Gappy made it. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's been on Hippy Dippy before. I know that guy. I'm pretty sure he's been on Hippy Dippy before. Wait, Gappy, Gappy on Hippy? Hippy Gappy. That's that's Gappy on hippie violence right there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, he's friends with Dylan too. Okay, yeah, no, I I, I know, I know, he's got like eight thousand, I think, on, on on Twitch now, so he's doing pretty good. That's hilarious. He made that. That's awesome. 
that that emoji stands out that in fact that emoji stands out so much there's a chance that twitch takes it down because they deem it like nsfw or something <laughs> well, like, but, but they'll that. allow like the the pool parties and stuff and everything on here but you know hey man don't give them a reason to ban anything else no i know i know um, but they they did ban they did ban the hobbits so <laughs> and they had to roll up to TwitchCon and, and they're like yeah Slava Ukraine Slava Slava and I was like dude we we all know what you're about get out of here uh, nobody was happy to see those guys <laughs> I, I still think the funniest part is like Stinkle goes up with with uh, the Leningrad leprechaun. And he's like, you know, how do I drink with this mask? And, and the <laughs> leprechaun's like, I don't know. And then he goes up to other people. Why, why aren't you wearing your mask? Oh, and then, then he see, yeah, and then he splashes himself in the face all over his shirt. Literally, wow. I think my favorite clip is from I'm really important to like he was like with this guy and he's like, yeah, we met Haas. And there's this one guy who like looks at the camera, just kind of like he, he looked like the dude with the question marks gif who's like what like can you believe this goober it was so funny it was so funny oh we got hawk arthur here okay they they hit the nets 1.4 million this is a very hawkish chat i've noticed oh there's a lot of hawks here like i've checked with hawk hawk arthur yeah you guys are unoriginal it's all just hawk 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 bum 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 this chat it's like a it's like a nest it's like a roost the, the question is are we talking titanium beaks or plastic beak hawks fake hawks yeah no there's definitely a, a distinction there there's a civil war within hawkdom hawkdom that's right hawkery oh these guys are getting near their targets now I like I like the characterization of of uh, Doctor Globe as a plastic beak hawk. I don't think that guy ever said he was a hawk. I don't think he, like I never said he's a hawk. I don't think he's a hawk. We had a debate and he was against the Iraq War. Like what? Like he's like a he's like a bread tube guy, from what I understand. You know he he's like with us on Ukraine. But he's not with us on a lot of other things. Yeah, this is, is typically the case. Like a lot of people, you know? Like, but I mean, the thing is, Ukraine is so egregious that it managed to turn a bunch of socialists into NATO fans. Hmm. Like that, that's how bad his stupid war was, that he managed to make NATO popular with bread too. That's how bad Putin is. He's like a NATO salesman. Yeah. It makes you wonder if he was hired by the CIA to lead Russia. Make NATO popular. <laughs> there's a there's a conspiracy. Thing is, there's I'm probably sure somebody out there one. who actually believes that. Like there's like some Russian nationalist who's who thinks that Putin's a traitor because NATO is popular now. Because I, I can Ukraine. see I can see why they think that. I think and, it's and a more. He doesn't even nuke. He says he's going to nuke, and he doesn't even nuke. Does this guy even nuke? That's a more plausible conspiracy theory than most I've ever heard of. Yeah, he's CIA. He works for the deep state. We needed this rain. Oh, there's a lot raining down right now. They needed this rain. We're like five minutes out from these detonations now. Objectivist Hawk redeemed Hawk Take. Oh, Hawk Take for 6,531 Hawk points. Let's go. We got eight viewers here, too. Um, so I can just give you a random Hawk Take, or if there's something you want to ask about, like a particular um, a geographic region or whatever, um, I, I'd be happy to answer a specific question. Otherwise, if you just want a random Hawk Take, let me know, and um, I'll give you some... Uh, I'll give you a hike pill. I don't know, something funny? Ooh, okay. Um, Make it funny. 
Come on, okay. do a funny. Do a funny. Do a funny. Okay, I know. Uh, I don't think I've done this one before for hot pills, but I know I've talked about it on the channel before. Ever notice how the socialist dudes with the hammers and sickles in their handle on Twitter always will mention when you bring up how Saddam used weapons of mass destruction against his own people or against Iran or whatever, and 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 say like, dude, he literally used WMDs. What do you mean he didn't have them? He used them. And then I'll say, yeah, but who gave them to him? And they've got the hammer and sickle oh. and bile. And I'm like, well, yeah, the Soviet Union and France. <laughs> like, yeah, they think, it was like, they think it was the U.S. They think it was not. the U.S. The U.S. never gave Saddam much weapons at all. The U.S. only really gave him intel. Uh, they gave him satellite imagery. Uh, his weapons, almost all of his weapons came from the USSR and uh and france but mo his largest supplier by far was the soviet union so it's always funny when communists are like yeah but who gave saddam the wmds i'm like uh you guys how can people forget that because the controversy was at the time the the proxy war of sorts that was happening was we supported iran yes under the kingdom before 1979 and the USSR supported Iraq, but the the takeover in 1979 was so bad that we, you know, this was one of the few areas where Russia and America actually agreed and and got behind Iraq as the lesser evil. Yeah, in that it's like World War II. Time. It's like a World War II moment, basically. But but it's... even even in that context, obviously we we would be supporting him less because he was a longer term ally of the Russians. Yeah. Oh, no, the Russians were... Oh, yes, yes, we took out their whole fleet! Their You're whole done. fleet just got promoted in one flash. Promoted in a flash. Did you see that? What was that, four ships? God. God. And four, four submarines born. Man, that was epic and now all these guys are flying around like where they go we wanted some xp this is how we make submarines when when a mommy boat and a daddy boat love each other very much <laughs> no it's more like a mommy boat and a daddy u.s missile love each other very much no, here's, they create a submarine here's how uh submarines work um when a when a when a neutrino loves a uranium atom a lot it gets promoted to a submarine and starts a chain reaction Isn't that beautiful? You know. that is i feel oh, like we're watching here we go here National we go here Geographic. we go let's go let's go let's go that air base just got promoted to a ground base let's go let's go let's go I've got a bunch of points. I don't even. I'm not doing anything with them. No points or no no actions with the points. Actually, okay. Here, here's here's something. Um, if I save up to one hundred nine thousand seven hundred four points, I can call into the show. Yes. I, okay. I think I'm gonna <laughs> save up for that. You're gonna save up for that, man. He's saving. He's saving. He and and this. It. And the biggest one. So if I get 236,642 points, <laughs> I get a follow from you on Twitter. On Twitter. Yeah, that, that, Hell yeah. I, I don't even follow people. Like, I don't follow people on Twitter. I'm, like, capped out. So if if I'm not already following you, like, I'm not going to follow you, basically. I'd have to unfollow somebody to follow somebody. But if you redeem that many points, I will literally go through my follows list and find the weakest link and unfollow them and then follow you so that's how that works like i'll follow you Reese. like i'll do it look look i'm still saving man i'm not even bluffing i'll do it man i'm not bluffing this time i'll do it i'm not bluffing either but i just i need to get there first well same with putin <laughs> I, I could redeem emo and fortnite while you're playing defcon Def just like like a thousand times <laughs> i could emote in fortnite in defcon there's a dude down here in nome alaska who's playing fortnite right now and he just did a dab emoji so dab emote uh-oh 
Hawk Arthur redeem throw shade. Ooh, oh, that's a lot. Oh no! Ten thousand four hundred and eighty-two hawk big, points. Big spender. But by the way, Objectivist, were you happy with that hawk pill? I, I thought it was. I thought it was a funny. I, I, I always get a kick out of that because it's like one of those NPC moments where it's like, oh yeah, well, who armed Saddam? And it's like, oh, the Soviet Union. And they're like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> thwarted once again. <laughs> We'd have gotten away with that propaganda if it weren't for you meddling neocon hawk oats. Oh, man. Okay, so Hawk Arthur redeemed Throw Shade. Okay, I don't even normally, like, do drama stuff anymore. Oh, Kabarov's kit. Boom. It's a warm day in Siberia right now. It's a warm winter. Oh, man, that solo's about to go down. Boom. Oh yeah, we're definitely taking out that silo. They missed. They missed with their interceptor. It's over. It's over. over. It's over. These last two are gonna do it. Second detonation. Third detonation, silo destroyed. Let's go. Let's go. One out of their 12 silos are gone. And we destroyed their fleets. The problem is they probably got subs lurking in the Pacific. So we're going to go. These aircraft carriers can sniff out subs. So we're going to go back to our waters, basically. And um, try to protect the coast. Okay, so throw um, shade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you can't ignore such a I, big expenditure I'm, of points. I'm not ignoring. I'm just stalling. Um, I'm trying to think of who yeah, to wait, throw shade at. You're Stalin? Whoa. Stalin. Whoa. Stalin. That's quite the admission. <laughs> um, who do I want to throw shade at? I'm trying to think who's been grinding my gears lately. Um, I know who I'll throw shade at. Uh, Socialism done left. Do you guys know this Twitter account? Do you see him around on Twitter? He's he's a streamer too, right? I, I'm not sure we, if he we, streams. We, we, well... I think he's on YouTube at least. We reacted to his debate with Haas a long time ago. Man, I, I don't even remember that. That was so long. Yeah, ago. no, it, it wasn't that memorable, honestly. I, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw shade at him though because he he has well, like okay, yeah, he steals memes. Okay, I've I've uh, stolen memes. Everybody steals memes, but I'm not I'm not throwing shade at that. Um, you know, last house, last house, right? No, no, you know. Go and look at his Twitter accounts at Sock Dunn Left on Twitter. Uh, his whole thing, like a lot of these like socialist people that you'll see out there, they're like very mad at how capitalism pollutes and and how capitalism is destructive to the environment. Go and look at his cover photo. Yeah, I I reverse image searched it from uh, Google to see what it was, and it is uh, I believe it's Shenzhen or some area around Shenzhen in the 80s. And it's just completely polluted uh, black smoke factories of the socialist workers' uh, paradise, uh, glamorizing and propagandizing about how much they pollute. Like, this is the thing about socialism. They literally brag about how their factories belch smoke into the atmosphere. And they're like, yes, this is progress. This is scientific socialism. This is the workers seizing the means of production. And I'm like, dude, like whenever I see these socialists or I've seen him talk about like climate change before and stuff, it's like, dude, look at your cover photo. You're literally glamorizing pollution, unironically. Like at least in capitalism, companies try to hide that they pollute. In socialism, the government brags about it. They make propaganda posters about it. And then, and then, and then tanky boys on Twitter go and make them their uh, cover pictures. So there's my shade. Hopefully that was worth the 10.3K point so super pretty good shade throwing something i noticed yeah, no. recently and it kind of grinded my gears so uh, no, you know they, as many gears as there were in all those factories in his stupid cover photo so they definitely glamorize and, and fetishize factories you know oh, yeah and and the, and that experience you know i and and you'd think like oh it's i, I guess it's like a, a worker solidarity thing and 
but it, it's so antiquated. It, it reminds me of the trains, you know? <laughs> like, we, we still have factories, but it's not the way that these people envision. Like, oh, yeah, we're off to the factory, and we all work uniformly. Yeah. No, it's Most strange. of that work is done with machines now. Like, it's yeah. not how it was at all. And also, like, if you look at, like, Elon's factory, for example, I don't even like Elon, but his factories are clean and sophisticated and modern and, and, and sterile. Theirs are, like, dirty and smog belching and all this. And it's, like, it's just total cringe because they're going to lecture us on how capitalism is destructive towards the environment. And it's, like, capitalism, the problem with capitalism is that capitalism itself as a system doesn't really care about the environment but it cares about making money and people care about the environment. So people are more likely to buy from a company that pollutes less or at least hides their pollution. But socialist propaganda glamorizes it. And that's true of propaganda photos and, and posters from Cuba to North Korea to the Soviet Union to China. Of course, his was a Chinese one. By the way, China's the most notorious for their pollution. They're worse than Russia. It's not even close. So... It's embarrassing. Imagine getting lectured on climate change by a dude who has Shenzhen, like a propaganda version of Shenzhen, in their um, in their profile or their cover picture. So, uh, there's my shade. Uh, and Hawk Arthur says very worth it. I don't like him. So everybody's getting their money's worth tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Um, anybody else want to redeem anything? I know Spooky wants to call into the show, but he doesn't have enough points to do it. Yeah, now it's it's going to be a while before I get that one. Yeah, sad. I, I guess I'm just I'll just have to be on Discord until then. Yeah. Oh, we got dab. dab. You're not even on camera. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not on camera. Wait, how do I dab with nukes in this game? Um, you have to make like a pattern of fighters look like a dab. A dab. I'm gonna, uh, can I draw? Can I draw in this game? I know I've drawn before. Can I draw? Whiteboard. Yes, I can. Okay. Here's me. Yeah, that's how you set up your plans. Remember? Remember the football plans? Brilliant. Brilliant. He doing it. <laughs> He's literally doing it. <laughs> this is supposed to be purple. And I like how in the background it just says 1.1 mil dead. <laughs> He's dabbing on Russia right now. I'm literally dabbing on Russia, boys. We dabbing. We hawk dabbing. We're dabbing on the Russoids right now. You're dabbing, and in the background it says, Leningrad nuked 3 million dead. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm, I'm speechless, man. Yeah, let's get dabs. Let's get dabs in chat. That, that was so worth it. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we do. <laughs> that is what we do. That is what we do. We do dab. Let's get dabs in chat. Uh... <laughs> That is what we do. We do that. Man, these guys are still far out from being able to target, but 
Yeah. We dabbing. Spooks. We got 10 people here now. Let's go. Everybody's just watching the fireworks. That is what we have. There's two of them. They're both dabbing. That's racing me. We're dabbing. On Russia. All over Russia. How much shall we get a new emote? I need to get partner to open up new emote slots. So we need an average of 75 viewers. So I need to like stream more basically. Or I can replace emotes. Oh, that's an idea. Good. I like how they're not really getting any detonations on us. Like they're down bad. They're at they're at minus eighty one. We're at combined one seventy one. <laughs> Rotate the, the modes. modes. Nuke dab. That's what we do. Uh, Kubasha's going down. Dab. Dabby. Oh, they're gearing up. They're gearing up. I gotta take out that silo. It just switched over to launch mode. We gotta take it out. <laughs> Official launch mode. There goes the dab. Uh, it was worth it. No, it'll be back. Uh, I'm seeing their silos come online right now. Okay, I'm seeing them. We're going for targeting them right now. We've only got four bombers that can get to them, though. Um, dang it. Can I get more up there? Ah, but they're so far away. Let's send these guys out anyway. Uber. Okay, these guys are actually close. I'm sending these three on that silo. Thing is, even if we hit a silo only once, it won't destroy it, but it'll take out half of its arsenal. Oh yeah, NATO our NATO allies took out that silo. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's get these bombers airborne. This is what happens when you have friends. Yeah, well, and Russia's Russia like, well, why don't we have friends? Uh, they have slaves. Is, is that is that the same? Is that just as good? We would have gotten away with it if it weren't for their friends. It's no fair. <laughs> it's not. Karim just got hit. Yeah, no, they're down bad right now. Like, look at this. They're at minus 120. We're at 242. And they're getting dabbed on. Look at no, that. No, <laughs> you're lying. They're getting double dabbed. There's two the of dub, them. The dub dab. Two hawks. That is what there is. We are hawkish. That is what we do. Sus activity in chat? Wait, what's sus? I, I'm busy playing the game. Can we get, like, moderator to ban whatever sus? I didn't see anything. <laughs> I think Wait. he's trying to get you to look at something in chat. <laughs> what, what's in chat? It's a surprise. Wait, what's... I already gif? Wait, wait, there there's subs? There's subs? Maybe. Yo, 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 yo. Let's go. Spooky nookies. Five fast ones. Let's go. <laughs> Tier one Five. sub to Dr. Globe with the plastic beak. President Richard M. Nixon. The Batman 42069. Penchick 1 and Lucifer CX. Let's go. Subs. Five. 
Five fast ones and one slow reaction. <laughs> and one very exceptionally normal slow reaction. Yeah, it is plastic <laughs> beak hours. That was a plastic beak reaction time right now. You can literally do a world war in that time. It's so funny that Dr. Globe got it. We were just referencing him. Maybe it heard me. Maybe Twitch knows. Or maybe maybe you did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's part of my mess. At least I got to give one to Batman. You know, that's yeah. that's pretty cool. Oh, man. I see those silos. Let's go. That's what we do. Yeah, no, all these detonations. Like, look at this. Minsk is still intact. But, uh... Kellen got completely... Or, no, actually, it's okay. Moscow not really doing too good right now. Only 5 million left. We're 37 million gone. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so you can draw in this game. So you can't do emotes, but you can draw emotes. And they're getting absolutely clowned on right now. Like, Dune's not doing well. Ah, uh, I'm the gift leader. That feels so nice. Let's go. I, yeah, I dare just, anyone. The folks dare anyone out, to take that from me. The folks out there, you know, my uh, stream elements prompt there. Uh, check it out. If you got Amazon Prime, you can sub to this channel and get all those swaggy emotes. And you don't even have to pay for it. Because you get a free uh, sub each month with uh, Amazon Prime. Because you're Twitch Prime. And our final... Uh, Ground-based nukes are making their way to their targets now. And Russia's just absolutely getting clowned on. Ustinov just got clowned on. My challenge to the chat is to try to overtake me as a gift leader. That is my challenge to you. Yeah, you won't go. do it. You're, you're too scared. You don't have what it takes. Yeah, they're just bluffing. Yeah, you, you don't know. You're all talk. Moscow just got clown on again. Moscow got clown on harder than BX Bullet. That's a lot of clown energy right there. There's some extra shade. Moscow Ooh. got clown on again. Oh, you're just a, a Putin fit column got clowned on. Like, look at him. Look at him. Hey, and, and I and I get shut down. I get limited. I get limited. Wow. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. You're you're grown adult. Wow. But he started it. All I asked for was a debate. All I all I wanted was a debate. I'm not really sure she's a grown adult. I mean, she did have her her nerf guns framed in the background <laughs> tough tough super tough uber tough yeah they're in my bedroom <laughs> i use them as trophies <laughs> look at these hawks right here they're just totally dabbing on russia right now they've been dabbed to death it's over it's over oh no interceptors uh-oh uh-oh He's gonna shoot me down. That would be unfortunate. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the silo. No, I gotta launch. Okay, he missed, but I had to launch. I had to hit the city instead. Hey man, I was going for a military target, but they made me do it. Made me do it. You were going for the dam, but you didn't mean for it to affect the city. Only the soldiers. Only just the, soldiers. the dam. Just the yeah. Oh man, Gonzalo Lira. Thirty-six thousand. 36,000 casualties in a week of success. Russians, <laughs> nothing. He said like 400 or something. Like Because that makes sense. Because 99 to 1 is a normal ratio for the Russian army against Ukraine. 99 to 1. What a moron. What a moron. I, I wonder if he actually believes that. Or it's no. just all for money. No, it's all for money. There's no way. You, it, it, no, it, Nobody... Nobody believes like if he actually believed that he's he's dumber than Caitlyn Johnstone. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
that you have to I be did. genuinely stupid to believe those numbers. I agree that that's probably the case that he's just a grifter, but I mean, there. I mean, it doesn't matter what he thinks. You know, the, everyone who watched George Galloway's video probably believes that now. Oh God! Can you imagine unironically thinking that the Russian army lost four hundred and the Ukrainian army lost thirty six thousand in a great success for them? But it was a Pyrrhic success because they lost a hundred times as many as the Russians. Yeah, we got the their solo. Russians. Got your nose. The Russians were just regrouping for counteroffensive. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just that's what we're regroup. still waiting for. Yeah, the petulant regrouper. Wait, why would they? Why would they need a mobilization if they lost so few troops? Oh, like, uh... why? NAFO and stuff. Something, something NAFO. Why not have more? Invite more boys to the party. Oh, man. Do you see that meme? Like, I guess it wasn't a meme. It was like an actual tweet. Some guy on Twitter was like, Oh, no, they shot down my, my bombers. He shot down my bombers. Oh, actually, you know what? Those nukes are coming in on our allies now. Well, at least they'll take the damage. We'll be fine. <laughs> that's what allies are for, right? Taking the brunt of the nuclear damage, right? That's that's like Biden logic. Yeah, we kill them over there, and then they kill our friends over there, and then we live over here. That works. That's what we well, call Orcs just got hit. Orcs just the orcs and orcs just got hit. An orc. Orc. Orsk. Yeah, no, the orcs in Orsk just got hit. Orsk, home of the orcs. The, the, these guys are dabbing on Orsk right now. And then there's Orenburg. I would call that Ork. Orkenburg. Orkenburg. Orkenburg got Nukenburg. Gorky. More like Orky. Orky. Oh, no, they took out another one of our silos. Good news, the silo was already probably empty, so have at it, Oz. We knew we knew he was gonna do that. We have knew. at it, Oz. They we they knew they knew it was empty. That's why they targeted it. He knew. Oh look at this. We're chasing these guys. They're spooked. We we chase these guys across the Pacific. Oh, I've got a bomber left. That's right. They should be spooked. Ooh, but that <laughs> one's going to detonate. And we did hit their city. <laughs> oh, no. No. They got through. They got through. No. No. No, I didn't even see that. I didn't know. Or, or I, I guess, uh, yeah, we knew that was part of the plan. It was, it was part, part of the, of the plan. plan. A worthy sacrifice. Well, if you thought LA traffic was bad before, try the traffic with no roads. If you thought the garbage problem in San Francisco was bad, now look at it. Uh-oh. Boom. Uh-oh. You're Louis. done. Okay, Oof. I want to know where those subs were. No, they weren't subs. They were bombers. They got bombers there because if they were subs, we would have got a notification. We definitely would have got a notification. Oh, yeah, they got yeah. bombers through. How'd they get the bombers through? Yeah, you've only got the sonar. Or you don't have the radar. You had to no turn radar. off the radar, right? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I like how casually it says 7.8 million dead. Like for one second, and then it goes away. And then it goes away. Yeah, that's like the, the half a moment of acknowledgement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happened. Some people some did people something. did some stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Ugh. Oh my god, we're so terminally online. Oh my god. I'm, I I, re I regret knowing these things. <laughs> Why do we know that? Like immediately, that comes to mind. 
Because uh, because she lives in my head rent free. Clearly, she lives rent free. Oh, at London Grid Lemicron got hit. The Leprechaun got hit. Okay, we're gonna have to draw a Morning Hawk now. Not the home of the Leprechauns. Not me, Lucky Charms. No. This isn't allowed. You can't do this. This is wrong. Unkthor predicted this. Yeah, it's Nonk Stradamus. That's his name. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't know you were such an artist. <laughs> Arthur, you're too much, man. <laughs> right dad while you're busy drawing their <laughs> their fighters are getting through wait wait where where are they where are they oh you mean into Europe we don't care about them they're just allies who knows? They could be anywhere, right? Wait. Wait. I mean, those, those other ones got through. No, no, no. I don't want them getting through. They're not allowed to do that. What, what, what do they think of the East Coast this time? Okay, we're going to bring these guys back. Yeah, how'd they get through? Maybe they launched they, them from here. They teleported. Oh, wait. These guys are depth charging subs. They found something. Maybe they're in Cuba. <laughs> Kevin's paranoid now. Where are they? Where are they? Wait, there it is. There it is. Swag dabs. Found him. That was the one. That was the one. He nuked San Francisco. Oh, he has to die. It's over. We're sending out like eight aircraft to intercept. trying to make it back home to the carriers. Will he make? I don't think he's going to make it because uh, our battleships have empty air. He's going to have a really hard time making it home. Because these okay, guys are what if, mad. What if we use the anti-air on the ground? What if we use the anti-air on the water, huh? But you need yeah, to yeah. That, yeah. We, we make big splash. Oh, there's nobody left in that city. No, there's definitely nobody left in it. Not radar hit. How did that radar go? 
Huh. Normal. Did it just spontaneously nuke? I didn't send anything up. Oh, maybe our allies. No, I don't know. We would have seen it. Maybe they nuked it. Maybe they accidentally nuked it. Oh, and your missile's about to strike that that bomber. Boom. Okay, I need a target. I, I'm, like, low on fuel right now. This guy's not making it home. He's over Kazakhstan. He needs a target of opportunity. We got 0 0.6. We got 1.6. Mmm. Not gonna make Low on it. fuel. Are you sure you're not playing as the Russians? No, we could hit that silo. We can make it to that silo. We'll run out of fuel, but we'll have it in our missile range first. Yeah, no, I'm playing as the Russians. No, I'm not. My nukes work. Oh. Fair enough. The more you know. I wonder if any fighting ever happens in Antarctica in this game. I've I've done an Antarctic campaign before. I was playing against Africa. I moved all my subs down in here, and I was playing against a real player. They didn't know. They didn't predict that I would go down here. I launched <laughs> I mean... up, and I got their entire southern um, coastal area. That's a first. good strategy, because, like, who would think? He was expecting me to be further north, but I literally went off the coast of Antarctica and nuked. Oh, he's still alive! The absolute clownlet. Come on, get him. You missed? No, he's not making it back home. He might make it back home. Then we'll just have to sink his home. <laughs> yeah, sink like, his home. <laughs> even if he makes it home, look at all of our stuff versus his. And I've got my bomber coming in right now. On his stupid aircraft carrier. So yeah, this one bomber, it looks like, took out two of our cities. Or may his buddy took out the other one. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We got him. So we're even now. We're even. We're even. Um, I don't know about that. How many, how many people were in that bomber? <laughs> uh, four. I had a crew of four. Oh, and, and then you know, it's four for, for seven million, yeah. Okay, even. Even. No, 8.4 million. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, that's it got dunked on. This is quite the destructive game. Uh, there's the other Petropav loss. That one's the non Kimchatsky. They should just name it Petropavlov's not Kinchatsky. <laughs> and it'd be longer. Because there's Petropavlov's Kinchatsky over here. Wait, did we hit that yet? No, we only hit that once. Hold on. Okay, you're going up there. He's not thoroughly nuked enough. Okay, now we're bearing down on these goobers. They've ran long enough. Time to get these guys. Okay, our subs are getting closer. Almost in range. Come on, do a nuke war. Come on, do a launch. Do a war. Yeah, this is just a warm up. Oh, you've seen nothing yet. Yeah, we're just getting started. We're being nice here. <laughs> Silo destroy. Normal. Normal swag dabs. Uh, Look, it's like party lights. <laughs> party time. It's something to greet you once you make it to the motherland. Oh no, they took out. We took out that one. Okay, so no more silo there. Now this guy's got an even shorter fuel range. 
What target am I gonna go for? 0 0.2. Ooh, we could just make it up there. If we turn around, I think we can make it there. We can't. I can we make it to Kuba Shop? Maybe we can make it to Kuba Shop. We'll try. We'll try to nuke it. If we don't, we'll nuke the other one. Or or as I call it, Kuba Shop. Kuba Shop. Town of Goobers. The genocide of Goobers. Suggests itself. There you go. In That's Minecraft. I got, I got the quote wrong. Yeah. In Minecraft, wait a minute. I mean, the NSA caught on to that but one. But the nerds know. thing alone is like, it already sounds terminally online. You know? And this guy's like a boomer. Some some nerd, some nerd, you know, lit up daughter Dugan, I'm sure. Dude, some where's my car? <laughs> Dude. Dude, where's my car? Gonna ask Vlad for a new one. Swag dabs. This is the last time I let her take it out. Um, sir, she was in the car. What? <laughs> no. Dude, where's my car? Not one scratch, young lady. Dude, where's my port? <laughs> that, Dude, where's my capital? <laughs> that is dark. But no, it's hilarious. actually pretty bright. Like, we're talking like the brightness of the sun. Oh, yeah, no, it was bright. I, I remember. I remember distinctly. It's spooky. No, I think this guy can make it to Gubashov. I think he's got enough fuel. Because he's going to make it, after his turning radius, he's going to make it right around here. But his... I, it's just going to give him enough distance to nuke that city. So, he's going to turn around. That's one thing that this game's not that realistic about. Look at the turning radius of a bomber. It's like 5% the height of Asia to turn around. <laughs> Look, things are not made to scale. It's also a pretty big bomber. Like, look at that. That's like the size of a city. Oh, no. No. How did he know? How did they know? He used a radar. I thought we nuked our radars. Uh-oh. Okay. We may he have a finds, problem. He finds Big Bomba. If he fires at me, I'm going to have to launch immediately. I'm hoping he, like, loses me and turns around. So I can continue to the prize target. This is what we call micromanagement. Like, he doesn't actually see me yet, otherwise he was shot at me. Oh yeah, this is super micro right now. Like, for all I know, North America is completely going up in smoke. And I'm like, come on, come on. He gets slightly closer to the target. No, he Do doesn't know. He track. doesn't know. He's shooting past. He, sh he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Wow. Pretty lucky. He doesn't know. He hasn't shot once yet. He doesn't know. No, he doesn't know. Actually, he Russia. didn't know. He didn't Russia know knows. I was there. Russia knows all. Th that beautiful this. Russian radar at work right now. Look at that. Made in Russia. Made in Russia. Okay, North America didn't get nuked. Oh, Petropavlovskimchatsky's about to go again. Yeah, guy clown on. He doesn't know. We'll slap the letters out of your name. You're he done. Does, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know I was right in front of him. The presence of aircraft suggests itself. The presence of aircraft suggests no radars? No radars? No radars? No socks? These subs, at least, are getting pretty close now. Some of them can actually fire. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the nuki. 
<laughs> the nuki. Yeah, yeah, come on, do a nuki. Yeah, you did do the nuki. Spook. Do a spooky. No, no, he's going outside of our radar range now. He's just going for a tour, checking out Kazakhstan. No idea that bomber just went right past him. <laughs> he missed his chance to be a true Russian hero right there. Yeah. He's, and they're like, dude, we could see it on our radar. That's why we sent you over there. What do you mean you couldn't see it on your radar? It's like, I tried. Told me there was a bomber out there. I looked for the bomber. Oh, no. He found me. The bomber. No, I have to launch. That could kill me. He found me. No, he killed me. He killed me. But at least I got my payload away. So, but the question is, how did he not see me when I was right in front of him? But then he found me when I was like a couple hundred kilometers away and shot at me. That's maybe, so weird. Maybe, maybe, he, maybe he knew you were there, but he forgot. And then he was like, oh yeah, I should probably go deal with that. Probably go deal with that, yeah. Okay, well, we didn't get to hit Gubershov, but we're going to get uh, Kemerovo. Um, oh, I really want Gubershov to fall. Oh, there's our victory timer, so we got to get those subs launching ASAP. Oh, no, they're going to launch. They're going to launch. They're going to do a nuki on me. Uh-oh. We got to get these guys down there. They're all coming up to surface. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. They're surfaced. Uh-oh. At least we got these guys airborne. They're not very effective against them, but better than nothing. These guys are all poised to launch their nukes now. It takes two minutes for the nukes to arm. Or two minutes for, the, for them to launch, at least. Um... Yes, and we can get that bomber up there immediately. Let's go, let's go. Let's start shooting. Yeah, yeah, let's start shooting at these guys. So he's surfaced off the west coast. Does he have anything on the east coast? You know what? I'm not going to take chances. I'm just going to send up my bombers to just be in the area in case he surfaces. Because there's only a little over an hour left. If game time, we can fast forward. But um, let's see. But, you know... If you fast forward, maybe they'll get through. Maybe they'll get through, yeah. It's a risk. It's a risk. And we are not guarded on the West Coast. Like, there's no silos up there to protect it. So, we have to act... Like, our defense is out here. We have to shoot these guys down. At least these fighters are taking some... Yeah, we got one of their subs. Let's go. Because as soon as they surface, you can see them. Okay, well, we got a city. He took out 100,000 there. So, you know, and I launched like three seconds before he destroyed my bomber. So. Come on, do a goober war. Goober war re. I'm sending something very goober pill to you on Twitter. On Twitter? But... You probably won't have time to look at it right now. Oh man, there's only two subs left. We got the subs. We're getting the subs. We took out most of his subs already. And these guys, they're only going to be able to hit LA and probably LA is the only one in range, right? Come on, we're running out of time. They're almost out of fuel, but if you can just destroy this thing, then we'll go and rescue you once you run out of fuel. Come on. Oh, no, he's not going to get off another missile before he ditches. Yes, we got the other one. We got the other one. There's only one left. But if it gets a nuke away in the next few seconds, that's it. We're not going to be able to stop it. Come on, take it out. Come on, do a depth charge. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got all their subs. At least those ones. Ooh. 
we turn those subs into uh, crawlers, ocean crawlers. Ocean crawlers. Okay, sixty minutes left. Okay, we're gonna fast forward a little bit. That is what we do. Okay. So now let's get some bombers airborne if we can. Oh yeah, there's a bomber over here. Get that airborne. Uh, here's here's something pertinent. Two museums, a pedestrian bridge, a philharmonic, an office building, a children's playground. This is not a complete list of, quote, important military targets that Russia has struck with missiles in Kiev this morning. Normal behavior. But normal Russian behavior. normal for Russia. That's what Russia always says. And the thing is, did you see, I, I uh, retweeted um, that video. There was a BBC reporter who was covering Kiev, and the missiles actually went right past his office. Like, he could, he... he heard the wind from the missiles and then the missiles detonated a few seconds later did you see that i mean like i didn't see, i didn't see that one but i did see a similar type videos yeah uh they specifically targeted um the roadway that intersection at rush hour to try to kill as many civilians as possible no uh, but but ukraine's the terrorist thing all right, right, because I'm a bridge. Osama bin Laden of Europe, said Jackson Hinkle today. Goober. Absolute goober. And then later that day, later today, he proceeded to splash water on his face. Absolute clown laugh. Because <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't understand the very, the very complicated task of, oh, I'm wearing a mask, but when I drink water, I need to move the mass down so I don't spill all over myself. What a child. I, I know he was being sarcastic with that, but it was stupid. Everything he does is clown -like. He's a LARPer. Oh, absolutely. He called himself Putin's number one draft pick for World War Three. Give me a break. And all these guys like Hinkle and, and Jimmy Dore, they... And you know, like we think that their foreign policy takes are bad, but they they're really like they're real anti-vax. Oh yeah, they don't they don't understand how to use a mask. Like it's just it's tragic how it's stupid they are. Crazy. Yeah, they're like yeah, conservatives are right about Fauci, man. It's lame. Like I, I feel like even the Jimmy Dore of ten years ago would be disappointed in the Jimmy Dore of today. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. He'd be like, wait, wait, you're supposed to show for Bernie, not Tucker Carlson. Pathetic. Like, they're absolutely pathetic, Reese. But I did update the thumbnail. I made the thumbnail for the ghoul gang last night. I made it that image of the two looking like absolute gooberlets. Oh, I didn't know you could specifically choose it. Yeah. I, I just thought you would... You could choose among some different options. Uh, I don't think it's loading quite yet. For, oh, wait, no, no. no. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, that should get us a few more views. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, we got 250 when it was just the random one. So hopefully we get some more. I mean, that one's too good to not have, have it be that. <laughs> In fact, I might make that the thumbnail for the actual video on YouTube, too. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. <laughs> the beavers hard at work building their dam. Twitter. Yeah, this game's oh. almost over. Objective is Hawk redeemed emo and Fortnite. Well, you can't um, do that in this game. No, no, no. I'm going to do it. I, I, I've already, like, dabbed on Russia over there. We're going to dab on Western Russia, but... We're going to do... It's going to be the choo-choo train. Oh, yeah, yeah, the train. Train gang.
there. I did the train emo. Choo choo. Choo choo. Do, 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 I like how do, his do, eye is like. I did draw his eye, but you can't really see it because there's a nuclear detonation behind it. So normal. Normal. Yeah, number That's one awesome. fan of trains. Yeah, Adam, something has nothing on me, dude. I still think we should make it a Patreon goal for you to do a vlog on a train. <laughs> 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 and it would and it would be enough to cover your ticket, you know. You'd have to you'd have to do like a train journey. Oh, I'd have to have a profit though. Exactly. So I'll make it a big Patreon goal. Yeah, like I'm I'm full of great ideas like this. But you'll notice you're a, a you're a sadist. I thought you were a masochist. Yeah. You'll notice a pattern in my ideas as they are quite sadistic. Yes. <laughs> wow. Look, I think it's, he's it's... out. I think I think Ivan's out of crap to throw at us. Ivan. Ivan. On the front line. Oh no, they're nuking my emo. Twenty minutes. Seventeen minutes. Can we get closer in range? Maybe. A lot of his cities are pretty inbound or inland. Only our allies' cities are in range. Thirteen minutes. That is what we do. No, I think he's out. He's got nothing. We'll have we'll have lo a lot of normal behavior on the vlog. Yeah, basically. Yeah, no, I think it, this is full swag daps. We got six minutes left. We got nothing. Choo choo. One minute. 30 seconds. Game over. Let's take a look at that sway. Yeah, victory to NATO. Let's go. Okay. Uh, NATO combined had 180 million kills. No, 190 million kills. Um, combined 20 million deaths or 18 million deaths. No collateral damage. Uh, we wound up with almost uh, 390 million survivors we had a combined score of 364 and how'd putin do well he managed to kill 18 million he managed to lose 191 million no collateral damage so that's surprising for russia and hmm. he had 8.7 million survivors and eight nukies left, and he finished out with 155 uh, points negative. So let's see what he had left. No, he really did have no ships left. No ships, nothing. He had a few radars left. No means to shoot down anything. He had one air base over here. Uh, he had a few bombers left, and and that was it. Lost. Oh, he had another air base up. Uh, that's pretty north. I never saw no that. ships. No ships. He had no ships left. Nothing. Nothing. He has a train though. So the train there. Choo choo. Oh. So, there we go. So that was uh DEFCON from North America's perspective. Maybe we'll do Europe next time. So um yeah, hopefully everybody enjoyed the show. And was there anything you wanted to say before we go off air Reese? I gotta go Look, to people, back me up on this Patreon idea, okay? And if you have any other sadistic suggestions, I'm sure Kevin would love to hear about them, either oh. on Twitter or in the YouTube comments. <laughs> That's oh, it. Man. That's all I got for you.
Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and be sure to subscribe to my uh, gaming channel on YouTube, Superpower Gaming. Let's get to 100 subs. Let's go. Let's do it. Um, He's a gamer. That is what he does. That's what I do. I got over 180 videos on there, so let's go. So, uh, And this will be up there in short order. So have a good night, folks, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay based, and keep on dabbing in the free world. Hawk dab. Swag dab. Swag dabs. Hello, everyone. Kevin Castley here. Three years ago, I started Superpower Broadcasting because I was sick and tired of living in the era of cringe where everyone from the far right to the far left is united against the liberal world, against democracy, against freedom. And so here I am making videos, calling out all of the fringe and cringe lunatics and standing up for the uh, liberal world order and all the values that we care about. So if you appreciate what I do, uh, definitely consider joining my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash superpower broadcasting. That's the best way that you can support me and help cover the costs of all that goes into running this channel, as well as uh, eventually my personal expenses. Once we hit $3,000 a month, I'll be able to do this full time and we will have a lot more content. As it stands right now, patrons help power daily content as it is, and I appreciate all of your support.